Okay. okay guys, your next step is going to be to mount the motors. We have these laid out here. Each motor will come with an Allen wrench as well as three bags of screws and nuts. Now the screws you'll want to use with this frame are going to be your shorter screws. They'll come in the bag with prop nuts, which are your stainless steel nuts. Um, if you use the longer screws, it may short out the motors. You don't want to do this, so definitely make sure you're using the shorter screws. Alright guys, it's a real simple install of the motor. Um, when you install this, you want your motor wires to go toward the inside of the frame, just like that. That way everything will reach the flight controller, all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip the motor over and you'll notice that the holes mostly line up. Once you get a couple started, the rest of them will line up. We're going to take your short screws, you want to run two or four in these. Four. Alright, four for them. Alright. Now let's just get one started here. Now an important thing to remember with these is don't over tighten them when you first put them on. Because if you get it too tight, you won't be able to line up all four holes. No. Finger tight, uh, not even tight really, on your first couple screws. And the way I always like to do it to help line them up is you'll do one here and you'll want to do one across from it, not straight across, but diagonal. And that should help you line the rest of them up pretty easy. All right, we got two of them. Now see your other holes should line up pretty good right there. All right guys, so these motors, we will just want them roughly, you know, finger tight. Um, no sense in tightening anything like this down right now because Something may have to move later on, and there's no reason at all whatsoever to tighten this stuff down. Um, you've seen how I've done this motor. you got your four screws here. Um, you want your wires running toward the inside of the frame, just like this. Now repeat this with the other three motors, and we'll check back with you. All right, guys, motors are now mounted, and we're ready to solder those up to the speed controllers. Now, an important tip, if you have never soldered before, I would recommend practicing before you try it on the kit. Um, pick up some old wire, some old computer parts you may have laying around. I'm sure the schools have those. Just practice tinning wires. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Um, tinning boards. And just making a good joint. Alright guys, this is what we're going to do. We've got our Speed It's ES20. ESCs, these things are, these are baby ESCs. Um, what you're going to want to do, they leave from the factory, they leave these wires a little bit longer um, for different applications. We do not need near that much. Um, the way we like to do it is we want our ESCs about right there on the board or on the frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim these wires off about right here. And that way we've got a little bit of room and once we get that done we'll leave these wires a little bit longer for right now once the board gets installed then we'll worry about these but for right now we're going to go ahead and get our motor put to our esc okay so what you want to do is find out how far you need to extend your motor wires out there's not a bad plate for these. Like nothing's gonna hit right there. No, I think okay. right there would be fine right there on the All edge. Right. You get a nice clean look anyways. So what you'll do is you'll just lay your motor wire out and wherever it makes contact with these pads right here, that's where you want to cut it. You may want to leave about a centimeter or two, a little bit long. That way you've got a little bit of playroom in case you make a bad cut. Um, always leave yourself a little bit of room. Okay. That makes it so much easier. So now we're going to cut these wires. Like I said, cut them a little long. Pretty sure I said that. 
like Chad said, cut them a little long. All right, now you can lay your speed controller to the side, and the next thing you're gonna do is strip your motor wires. So you wanna strip about an eighth to a quarter of an inch off of these wires. Um, your strippers may be different. Yeah, I'm gonna just strip a little bit off the end. So make sure you don't strip too much. You really just need a small amount. Um, I'll show you in detail after I get these cut. So as you can see, there is a very am small amount of insulation stripped off this wire. That gives you just enough room to put it on the pad, but not enough to make contact with the carbon. Keep in mind that carbon fiber is conductive and can cause a short. All right, let's tan it. And the next thing you're gonna do is you want to tin all of your solder joints. So tinning is just placing a small amount of solder onto the uh, metal contact. That allows you to make better joints, they'll be stronger, and they'll heat up quicker. So when you're tinning, you want to take your solder, dab just a little bit on the tip. Now you'll hold your solder on the contact point and heat it up with the iron. Don't directly dab the solder on there. Just need a small amount. Don't hold it too long. Lift it up and chill. This is what your speed controller should look like when you get it finished. As you can see, there's some silver solder on there instead of the brass pads. And next, you'll tin your motor wires. So it's essentially the same. I like to twist my wires before I tin them just to get a little bit of a cleaner look. They don't have to be twisted too tight, just enough so you don't have frayed ends coming off. So same thing, you're gonna hold your iron at the end and your solder on the side of the wire. Okay, so after you have tinned your motor wires, you should see no individual strands. As you can see, that's a pretty solid chunk of wire right there. And now you're ready to put it to your ESC. So on older builds, wires had to be crossed from the motor, say two wires had to be crossed to change direction. With the advances in the flight controllers, you can now change direction with the computer. I recommend that you solder straight across, just keep your motor wires straight, don't cross anything. You'll get less noise and it'll be a cleaner build. Should have brought some help with our hands. We should have. I got it. So, put your solder and iron. Don't burn yourself. Okay. So, no more solder is needed after they've been tinned. Push it out a little bit. Out toward you? Yep. You can just lay the tinned wire onto the tinned pad and heat it up a little bit. And the solder will melt and you'll have, just take it away. You don't want to leave it on there too long. And then you can move on to your next wire.
All right, guys. This ESC is soldered up, and to check your connections, just gently tug on each of the three wires. As you can see, that one was not a good connection. It is pulled loose. Always double check your solder joints. Okay, let the solder cool down. And now I'm going to tug on that, and we're good. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and do another one real quick to um, show you guys. Once again, we want to stress that you practice on something else, that this doesn't need to be your first solder joint. These are very, very small connections. Um, we'll let Clyde go ahead and do this. Put that there for me. Guys, if you got somebody to help you or a set of helping hands that the school may have, um, sometimes this, this isn't a one person job on some yeah. of the stuff. All right, and another recommendation I have, it's not going to affect the way it flies, but it will look better if you can try to match up your motor wire length on all four sides. As you can see, we have these speed controllers placed in pretty much the same spot on both arms at the moment. Once again, guys, cut these a little bit longer, maybe a centimeter or two, just a little bit longer to give you a little bit of play room. Awesome. Okay, once again, strip your motor wires. We will tin our ESC pads. Awesome. And now we'll tin our motors. Once again, we'll just go left to right. Okay, give it a little time. Good to go.